The love of football is embedded in our culture, but the sport can take a tremendous toll on players and their families. Take a look. There was amazing things about playing in the NFL, and we got a ton of gifts, but ultimately, Nate and our family paid a huge price for his career. When I first met him, I was like, that is way too much human. 300 pounds, 6'5", and I said to my friend, who would ever date those guys? Turns out, he became the love of my life. <laughs> We got married in 2002. It was amazing. After playing six years, his body was exhausted and he decided to retire. Through the six years, one of the things he had to do was stay big. And when he was done playing, he had an intention to start losing weight, but it was a struggle. Soon after we retired, I had two kids, a son named Jack and a daughter named Addison. He was the best father I have ever seen in my life. They would play tackle and they would play basketball and they would make up games and they would sing and dance. Life was good. Four years ago, the kids were nine and 12. Nate decided to take the kids to a trampoline park and they started to play basketball. And Jack said he noticed that his dad's arm couldn't get the ball up. And then at some point he said, you guys, I gotta sit down. And then he just grabbed his heart and he fell down. And my daughter was over there asking him like, wake up, wake up. And he was turning purple and he had started to foam at the mouth. And then the paramedics came about three minutes later. The worst part is that my kids watched it. Nate died from cardiomyopathia of the left ventricle, which basically just means the left ventricle had gotten so overused it could not pump anymore. And what the doctor said is that football players, because they are so athletic but also so big, it stresses their heart quite a bit. To come home and tell your kids that their father's dead is, it's, it's your worst nightmare, especially the best dad in the world. Nate died at 42, which was way too early for any of us. I miss him every day. Kids miss him, we miss him. Life, life is not as good without Nate Hopgood Chittick in it, for sure. He was an exceptional person to do life with. We're living in uncertain times. Delta variant is approaching. It's not always easy to keep up with the latest medical headlines. That's where the doctors come in. Now in our 14th season, the doctors continue to bring health and happiness into your life, giving you solid takeaway information. Things aren't being as heavily regulated as you might think. And we're uncovering medical scams to keep you safe. A lot of them contained a dangerous chemical known to cause cancer. What works and what doesn't. I'm always a doctor, but this was one of the few times that I was a patient, and it can be scary. The hottest trends in beauty and wellness. Pull it up, keep it tight. The prognosis is good. The doctors, a prescription for a better you.